What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the biggest myths and misconceptions when doing Walmart two-step drop shipping. I think you're gonna be shocked at why people are so apprehensive to jump into it and how people think there's a lot less money than standard drop shipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that all to rest and talk about why you should be thinking about doing two-step drop shipping on your store. Or if you're thinking about jumping into Walmart, you should because it is extremely profitable. So I'm super fired up for this. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. All right, so what's up? We're here on my screen share and in the back you can see the videos that I use to train my team. So this is training them to use Ecom Circles, which is the software that I typically use to manage some Amazon stores just to see how it works. Now it's worked out great. So I will talk a little bit briefly, cover that here in a second, but Really, the purpose of this video is to talk more or less about a lot of misconceptions people have out there, specifically about the two-step Walmart store. So let me explain that just so that I'm here in video and you can see me talking because I know a lot of people are complaining like, Liz, why don't you, why isn't your camera working? Why don't you get unlazy and fix the damn thing? I'll try and fix it by next week, guys. I know I've been lazy about that, but um, I've got a lot of other things going on. So let me talk about how the biggest misconception that people have about two-step drop shipping stores specifically on Walmart. And in order to illustrate this, I just want you guys to understand what a true two-step store is. Now I'm not talking about a fake two-step store. I'm talking about a real two-step store. And a lot of people might have that question. What is a real two-step store and how does that work? Before I jump into the explanation of what that is, just remember my email is below in case you do want to jump on a call and discuss what your options are if you want to run a Walmart drop shipping store. Now remember, you can either get full on A to Z automation, which means we do everything for you. There's also the ability to be able to have us put listings on your store. You manage the rest. And finally, there's just me to help you get started on your own. Uh, you're going to do everything yourself. So you got all those different options, but let's talk about a true two-step, which I want to remind you is the absolute only way that you can almost guarantee you don't get suspended for typical drop shipping problems that we see with standard Walmart stores, which is nothing more than you're selling items that you don't have and then fulfilling it by sending it from Amazon straight to the customer. With the two-step, it goes around that. So it makes Walmart think that you're sending from a legit warehouse which you incidentally are, that warehouse is just either your home or a warehouse. And the way that two-step is done is by introducing that extra step and having that middleman warehouse that captures the items, it intercepts those items, and then it ships it out to the customer so that they no longer get a branded Amazon box, they no longer see an Amazon invoice showing that they paid significantly less or, or they paid a lot more, right? They paid Walmart a heck of a lot more, but now they're seeing this invoice come from Amazon where it's a hell of a lot cheaper and they get just effing pissed off. Like they're just fuming at this point because they paid significantly more. So that typically leads to a lot of returns, a lot of complaints. And in most cases, I'll say 9.5 times out of 10, a suspension and or a flat out termination, which means you will lose your Walmart account if you stick to standard drop shipping. That's why I encourage everybody to do two-step, whether it's through a service and or on your own, and you need to find a legit two-step service. So let's talk more about how that works and the biggest misconception with two-step, which is I won't be able to make any margins because shipping is way too expensive since I have to intercept the package repackage everything and ship it out. So I want to talk about a couple options, or at least how to make it affordable to be able to capture the item and then ship it back out to the customer. And the way that that's done is by intercepting these packages. So I'm showing you behind the scenes here to a piece of software that we use in order to ship out our items. Now, great thing about this software is it is ShipStation. It's what we use to ship things out from our warehouse which right now one of our warehouses happens to be my house just to test this out, make sure it works. And I practice what I preach to people. So I'm showing you what I'm using and the item names here will be, will be blurred out. But either way, these are the orders that we've gotten in the past few days. Like this one had a mistake. Sometimes Amazon takes their sweet time sending out products. Everybody that does standard drop shipping will know that. But in, in any case, it'll be sent out by tomorrow. I believe it finally arrives today. What I really wanted to show here is how this is sort of calculated. So we've got an item right here that somebody ordered. 
It's a product that I sell very regularly. Like I sell a lot of these. So this product is on sale on Amazon for $11. I believe it's like $10.99. Now here's the shocking thing. And I know a lot of people are going to, this is going to blow their minds and they're going to lose their shit and be like, how is that possible? It's how could somebody be that stupid? It's not that people are stupid. It's that we live in a world of convenience. So people want things fast. They want it furious. They want the first thing that they see and they really have no patience to wait on anything and they have no patience to search and find things, right? They want everything out of convenience and speed. So this product sells for $11 on Amazon and we sell it regularly. We sell at least one of these a day for $27.49 on Walmart. So what does that mean? Well, that means that there's a significant profit on there. It's larger than 20%. If you look at Walmart fees and if you look at repackaging, it's a very small item. So I can tell you, we can sort of take a look. I'm not even sure what address this goes to, but let's just have a look. It's coming from my apartment, which is in Miami, all the way to California. So this would be the absolute furthest that this package would go. It happens to weigh 10 ounces. I know that for a fact. So now with ShipStation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, and I'm telling you that it's going to California. So all the way from Miami to California, this package is going. And you can see here the cost was $26.02 plus tax. That's how much it was charged on Walmart. You might not be able to see that, but um, it's 10 ounces. Now I'm going to get a calculation from ShipStation as to what an estimate is on shipping. I'm just going to click this little thing here, and it's going to tell me the different costs associated with first UPS. So it is pulling up UPS here. All right, so UPS would be $9.17 or 650 would be the cheapest version. If we look at USPS, it's $5.33. So $5.33 to ship this, which is, I usually estimate between four and 550 for shipping this. So if you consider 550 is the cost of shipping, the product costs about $12 with uh, taxes, that's $17. And then Walmart charges a 15% fee, that's about another $4. So we've got four plus five, that's nine, plus the cost, that's 20, about $7 in total profit. Now, the other thing you might say is like, Liz, how much does a box cost? A box can be expensive. That's true, but luckily for me, this product already comes in a box. However, there is a solution around the box problem. We primarily ship everything that we ship out with these bags. So these bags, you can see that here, even one that's uh, the typical size that we send, like really on the large side would be 14 and a half by 19 or 24 by 19. But this is 18.99 for a hundred, which means it's about 19 to 20 cents per bag. We slap that on there, we slap a label on there and it's ready to be off to the races. And um, that's more or less what ShipStation shows us. So not too bad considering most of our items cost like this, but again, this is a worst case scenario estimate since it is all the way from Miami, which is on the lower half on the East Coast, all the way to California. A more extreme example would be if it went from Miami to Seattle. So usually when we try to make an estimate of how far or how much it's going to cost us to ship, we consider Miami to Seattle because that's about as far across the country as you can want to ship. And, you know, in this case, this is still making really good money. And, you know, funny enough, right now, as I was talking about this, I refreshed this, I had to refresh because it was taking forever, another one of these sold. And so these sell extremely often, like I said, at least one, sometimes two a day of these that do sell. And this is the type of product that we primarily make our money on is products that are small, products that are compact, products that will not take a great deal, a great amount of money to ship. Now, ship. The good thing about when you do get a larger product, there are a lot bigger margins, but sometimes larger product costs a lot more to ship. However, in the case of this one, we possibly estimated $6 to ship, so it cost us $5.33, difference of like 70 some cents. That little, those little amounts add up to where it evens out every now and then if you got your estimates wrong on shipping for you to be able to still even out in general and still take a profit, even though that one particular item might've been a little bit more than what the norm is or what usually products will cost. So again, using these shipping bags is clutch 
And this is how we ship most of our items by using these. And that's more or less how we're able to make this like really profitable and really quick. It's a matter of just grabbing the item, taking it out of the existing Amazon box, making sure there's no invoice attached, tossing that out, shoving it in a bag, printing out the label, slapping the new label, and then just getting it over to USPS. In some instances, as I showed you with ShipStation, it will be more smart to send it with UPS. So we primarily get shipping quotes from UPS and USPS, and then we pick whichever one is less. And that is how we're able to still turn a profit. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of people out there that will not want to implement this extra step. However, this extra step has made it extremely lucrative and it's something that not a lot of, one of people, not a lot of people want to do. So those that are bold enough to exercise this extra step, well, they're going to make a decent amount of money. So that is more or less how we scale our stores. We usually have start with a couple orders a day and then we start to gradually scale it up to where it gets 20 to 40. And you're able to do this either from a warehouse or your home that could be a residence. It could even be a high rise. I've figured out a way around that high rise. So if you want to discuss more about how to make this work for you, then my email is below. I can tell you about more about A to Z automation, which means we handle everything for you, or you doing some, having some involvement in it or having all involvement in it. There's a way for everyone that wants to do this. And my email is below, but other than that, just wanted to share, show this brief video on how to use ShipStation to be able to calculate this and to be able to run your Walmart two-step dropshipping business. I'll see you guys next time.